أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام يا رسول الله الحمد لله الله سبحانه وتعالى has given us the knowledge الحمد لله of who our enemy is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the armor and the weapons to fight our enemy. Who is our enemy? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He said in the Quran, He said that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the man, the, the first of the mankind, Adam alayhi as He told all of the angels to bow down. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran that all of the angels they bowed except Iblis, Shaitan. That everyone except for Shaitan, Iblis, bowed down. He was of those who would not bow down. He was of those who would not humble himself. A small history of shaitan is this. Shaitan was not shaitan at that time. His name is Iblis. And Iblis, he was of the jinn, which is a separate creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which was before the mankind. When the jinn tribes, when they started having problems amongst themselves, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He sent an army of angels to conquer them. And Iblis, he was such a devout worshiper of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He raised him up to the status of the angels. And there he was sitting with the angels. And he was round about with them at all times. In the stories of the prophets by Ibn Kathir in the English translation for whom Allah that it is stated that when Adam alayhi as was fashioned and molded in the clay shaitan he came to him and all of the angels they were talking amongst themselves about this new creation they were worried about it and they used to say to Allah azza wa jalla you know who is it thou you make another creation where we celebrate your praises. So that we are completely perfect. We're the ones we're always praising you, always doing everything. But you're making this other thing. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I know of that which you know not. And to continue on, Iblis, he came to Adam alayhi salam in his clay form just before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala breathed, made the ruh the soul just for him. This is our father, clay. And this is what we are, dirt. And shaitan, he went to him, and he entered into him. He went through the mouth or the nostrils, I forget which, and he came out on the other side. And he told the angels, he said, don't worry, because I will defeat him is that he is hollow, there's nothing to him, he's completely hollow, he's just clay. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is solid. So as it is, is that from this moment on, shaitan, he hated Adam alayhi salam, and he hates Bani Adam, the children of Adam, you, me, and everyone else. Shaitan, he is there to kill us. He is there to, 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 to put us away from the straight path. He is there lying in wait. And He is there to continue on with corruption. To make sure that we do corruption. Some of the ways that we know of shaitan, one of the ways that we know if it's shaitan or not, is that shaitan, he's going to come, he's going to whisper to you. What is he going to say? He's going to say, Ah, here's a car. Try. Try another one. Try another one. And it's like the fly fisherman 
who sits out there with the with the with the with the pole and he just throws. He's not he's not trying to let it sit anywhere. He's not. He's just throwing one. Oh, try another one. Try another one. He just whips the water to see if a fish is dumb enough to come up and bite. And he just tries one card after another. And my brothers and sisters, there is a difference between shaitan and your nafs. As we know within, as it's taught within Islam, is that we know that it's shaitan whispering to us about some fleshly, fleshy desire or some whim or something that we just want. That he's going to try and he's going to just try again. He's not trying to really do anything, just to, he's just trying to see if you bite. If you're going to be the one that bites on it. And if you're the one that bites on it, verily on the day of judgment, he's going to say, I had nothing to do with you. You, you, put this, you put it on yourself. I just tempted you. And as this is, my brothers and sisters, you know that it's shaitan if it's just one thing after another. And it's very simple. You just say, rajim. This is the weaponry. This is the weaponry. The dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the weaponry. It is the shield. It is the fortress of the Muslim against shaitan and our nafs against everything that goes wrong in our lives of not letting it enter into our heart and I know this because I'm a janitor Wallahi <laughs> when you have to clean up after people on a daily basis shaitan is not there to whisper it's yourself that's whispering to you all of those horrible things that you're saying so in the end though is that when you know it's shaitan if he's just trying one thing after another we know if it's your nafs, if it stays consistent. And there are three types of the nafs. You have the nafs al amma you have the nafs la amma and the nafs of sara And the nafs al amma is what happens if you have the nafs that's telling you something bad. Go commit fornication. Go get it. Hey, yeah, go check that girl out. Yeah, man, she looks hot. Go get her. Or the, uh, oh man, you know, everybody else, you know, you can make a lot of money by gambling, man. You should go out, you should try. Just one time, don't worry about it. And if it stays consistent on these things, it's your nafs. And it's the nafs of amma. The nafs of la amma is the nafs of remorse. Oh, why did I do that? Why? Why did I do that? Why? That was stupid. That's the nafs of la amma. And the nafs of salam is the nafs of peace. That you get into that situation only by having the taqwa and having the uh, firm belief and having the uh, strict adherence to the submission to Allah Azza wa Jalla. And this is how we get the nafs of salam. And I remember when I was, subhanAllah, I was sitting in the class whenever I was learning this from my sheikh here in Minneapolis. And the sheikh, he said like this, he was describing all those things. And I looked at him and I felt trapped and I said, Yeah, Sheikh, what do I do? I, if I have a problem with my nafs like this, I felt trapped. I literally felt trapped. It's the way that he was describing it. I just gave a small description. And the Sheikh, he said, well, The one who is having a problem with the nafs of Amma, the one who's having a problem with uh, his whims, he should pour taqwa into his heart. He should fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He should keep his duty to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he should study himself and busy himself with the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He should pour taqwa, fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala into his heart. Getting back onto the subject of shaitan. May Allah deal with him. Shaitan is your enemy. Shaitan is my enemy. But we have the armor, we have the weapon. In some of the stories of shaitan, there was one time there was a very big, uh, very pious person and he used to get up Qiyam al -Lel. He used to get up Qiyam al -Lel. And while he was getting up, one night he was there and he was standing in the prayer and he's praying and then all of a sudden there was this big white light above his head. Very big white light and it said, Oh so and so. You don't have to pray so much. It's okay. Allah has forgiven you. 
And he says, "A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem." And whenever he, whenever uh, he says like that, all of a sudden Shaitan he comes to him and he says, "You have no idea how many people I have gotten with that same way." We know that it's Shaitan. We know that it's Shaitan. If he's coming to you and telling you about something that's very easy. Now don't always, don't also get into the same problem because one of the problems we have nowadays is that we think to ourselves that this deen, this deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this deen of Allah azza wa jalla, we get to the thought when we think to ourselves that this is a burden. We start thinking to ourselves, oh man, I gotta pray. Man, this is so complicated. Whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he revealed in the Quran, he said, I will be 